Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we've got a very unique shotgun to show you. This is new for 2017. It's a Fostec Origin 12 SBV. You're probably looking at this thing and wondering what in the heck is this thing? Well, you're probably familiar with the Origin 12 uh, in general as a shotgun. We've done quite a few uh, videos on it before. Um, but this particular one is a firearm. It's not a shotgun. Uh, the way this thing falls into in the category is kind of like the Black Aces Tactical uh, shotguns that, well, I say shotgun, but a firearm. It is a smoothbore firearm. So, you know, it's, it's not a shotgun in the truest sense of the word, even though it is a smoothbore 12 gauge, uh, you know, Fostec Origin 12 pattern shotgun for all intents and purposes. It's not an AOW. Okay, it's not an SBS because it's not considered a shotgun because of the configuration it's in. This is a factory configuration that Fostec offers called the SBV. And you've got a forward grip that comes from the factory. And you've got a folding brace that comes from the factory. It's not rifled. Okay, it's a smooth bore gun. So you're not really falling into those stipulations. It's really one of those weird things. In the longest configuration, it's over 26 inches. It's from the factory in this configuration, which makes it a firearm. It transfers as a firearm. It's not an SBS, not an AOW. Um, <laughs> it's not a destructive device. Now, if a shotgun like this would be considered a destructive device, it would be over 10 pounds. It's under 10 pounds, so it's not a DD. It's just so weird, the firearms laws that we have uh, here in this country and the things that we end up dealing with. It's just so funny, uh, the kind of things that you wind up. Now, this kind of falls into that same type of stipulation as the arm braces on AKs, ARs, basically any pistol configuration. When you add that brace, uh, you are not creating an SBR. They are exempt from the uh, laws that encompass things such as SBRs and SBSs. This is not an SBS. It doesn't have to be registered. Uh, it, it transfers just like a firearm because that's exactly what it is. We're going to run it a little bit for you. Um, I've been running some kind of hot ammo. This is some federal uh, 1,325 feet per second buckshot, nine pellet, um, because you're not shouldering the gun. And again, just like the uh, arm brace, you're not supposed to shoulder this. It's intended to be fired with one or two hands, but not from the shoulder. I know that's one of those random things. Now, like I was doing there, you can cheek weld it and it's not a problem. Or like Tim from Military Arms Channel, you can shoot it from the chest if you want, I guess, if you're feeling brave or whatever. But Legally, from the, the standpoint of the law, you're not supposed to shoulder it, so we're not going to be shouldering in the video. Um, topped off on this gun is a really cool uh, optic. This is a new MRO Patrol uh, from Triticon. This is an updated and improved MRO. It's got a lot of the same features in the original uh, MRO. This is also new for this year. These things are brand spanking new, so I'm really happy that I was able to get this out in time to be able to show you off a new gun with a new optic as well. And uh, it basically, you've got the kill flash on there, which is new, a new addition. There's also these rubberized uh, coverings you can get for them, which I don't have here to show you. This one has factory caps that just flip out, little flip caps, which is nice. All the adjustments are pretty much the same. The features are the same. It's very ruggedized. Um, also, the mounting system is something that they've, they've got special now is their own little mount that comes with it, which is very intuitive and simple to use. Um, great optic. It's got a nice, uh, generally wide field of view. So for close quarters or for just blasting sodas at the range, it's a great uh, optic that gives you a nice wide field of view. So I'm going to shut up here. I'm going to try to run the gun a little bit more. I'll tell you what, I'm going to run some more buckshot, try from the hip to take out our critters here. <clears throat> All right, from the hip. Well then, he's not getting away. <laughs> All right, this ammo I'm running, this is some Remington uh, Premier Nitro Sporting Clays ammo, it's 1300 feet per second. So bear in mind, you're gonna have to run slightly hotter ammo out of a gun like this because you can't shoulder it. Part of the way 
a lot of semi-auto firearms work is that, you know, you do really have to have the gun kind of shouldered. So you will have to run hotter ammo through something like this. But the fact that it's a no-tax stamp kind of gun is really awesome. This is just a killer range toy. It does have an adjustable gas system, just like the standard origin. I've actually got the gas uh, turned down a good bit. It could uh, even take more gas. So we could run maybe slightly lighter ammo, but I'm trying to make sure the gun runs well. That's why I'm using such hot ammo. You probably noticed it's kicking pretty hard. The threading on the Origin is also uh, compatible with any standard S12 uh, muzzle device. So you can run your, uh, you know, any of your chokes or poly chokes. You can run muzzle brakes, flash hiders, anything you want. All right. Look at that, peppered them. All right, some more mags here. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Well, she's running. All right, one more mag. This is a 10 shot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> These things are so much dang fun. It's just great. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me load up some more uh, buckshot, and I'm gonna try patterning some buckshot with this thing out to about 70 yards from my little chin weld. Let's try that. All right, this firearm is running so good. You know, I can't help but run it some more fast. Just running those, uh, ah, those trap loads out of there. It's just so much fun. Let's give it a try. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, before I pattern that buckshot, I gotta do one more. Of course, I ate my words, I had a malfunction. All right. <laughs> nice. Running pretty good overall. All right. I'm gonna try, as promised, to pattern a little bit of this buckshot way back there. We got 70 yards away. This is a, uh, I want to say eight and a half inch barrel on this gun, so it's a pretty short barrel. I'm going to chin weld it. All right, with the Trigicon MRO, kind of see what we got going on here. It's not on my shoulder. All right. Yeah, see the fact that that gun just short shucked? That's not the gun's fault because you really have to have this gas dialed up. If you're not holding on to it tight, it's just like any other semi-auto, especially gas operated like this, it's just not gonna run. Let me see if I can hold it a little bit tighter. Get her to run. All right, I'm gonna keep lobbing in some buckshot. Looks like it's favoring just a little low. This is a short barrel. Oh boy, that stuff kicks. You have to think, I'm basically two-handing this gun up near my eye where I can see the optic. I mean, it's a 12 gauge firearm, shotgun, whatever you wanna call it. Pretty good bit of recoil, but just put on your man mitts. Life's gonna go on. Here we are. Easy to flinch. Woo! All right, five more bird loads. I think you guys get the idea. I'm gonna run these from the hip and I'm gonna try to get them out of here as fast as I possibly can. This is a very fast cycling shotgun. She's pretty dirty. I'm going to try to really run him. Can't do that with a pump, pump gun. That's for sure. Guys, uh, we really hope that you saw the fun in this video. We're just trying to show you guys a new configuration of the Origin 12. Prices on the guns are pretty much about the same as they've been. It's just a different configuration. They do offer a factory SBS. And I do imagine if you wanted to, you could SBS a firearm like this if you wanted um, down the road. 
really cool configuration, very interesting. And uh, it's one of those kind of random areas of, you know, U.S. firearms laws that to some of us don't make sense, especially folks that are uh, in the gun world or deal with guns all the time. Some of these rules and laws don't make a lot of sense and they're just kind of dumb in some cases. But believe it or not, this is completely legal. <laughs> to just go to the gun store and buy, it transfers as a firearm. It's not an SBS, not an AOW, it's not a, a destructive device. It's, uh, it's a firearm. So hopefully you enjoyed the first look at this. This is literally the first gun that they've made like this. So this is a very prototypish gun in its current configuration. Some of the design aspects of this gun could change. Also having a look at the new MRO, working great as you can see, doing its job. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. It means a lot to us. We appreciate the support. Stay tuned. We've got a ton of new stuff coming. Uh, new stuff for 2017 coming down the pipeline. We're going to make as much content as we can, so stay tuned. Probably be posting about a video every day or so, so stay tuned, and they're on the way. There it is. Appreciate it.